Uh, Ranking Member Brady, uh, this resolution requests the President send certain information to the House relating to a waiver of intellectual property commitments, emphasis commitments, under the WTO TRIPS agreement. Specifically, the resolution requests information demonstrating that the TRIPS waiver will increase global supply of COVID vaccines, the extent to which COVID vaccines have been destroyed due to their expiration, The proposed TRIPS waiver expansion to cover diagnostics and therapeutics will increase supply, and whether the People's Republic of China will obtain access to IP related to COVID vaccines, diagnostics, or therapeutics, even if China is expressly excluded. Colleagues on both sides of the aisle should agree that the scope of this request is very narrowly tailored. Regardless of individual member views on the TRIPS waiver, this resolution deserves bipartisan support So this committee can analyze the efficacy of the waiver and whether or not it should be expanded to include diagnostics and therapeutics. I will also add that bipartisan agreement consultations with Congress on the TRIPS waiver by the Biden administration were seriously lacking. Amazingly, the administration never actually shared its views with Congress until it had already agreed to the waiver at the WTO. Now we find ourselves in the exact same position once again with respect to therapeutics and diagnostics, despite the President's own admission the pandemic is over. Still, the TRIPS waiver includes a six-month period for WTO members to, quote, decide on its extension to cover the production of supply of COVID-19 diagnostics and therapeutics, end quote. We are already halfway through this six-month period, yet the administration has not yet consulted with this committee or taken a position on an expanded waiver, nor have they shared any analysis on the impact of even expanding the waiver. We cannot once again learn about the administration's position on an IP waiver after a final agreement. If we are serious about the Congress primary jurisdiction over international trade, we must insist Congress remain in the driver's seat. I urge all my colleagues to report the resolution favorably and certainly urge bipartisan cooperation. Thank you. I yield. Thank the gentleman. Uh, Are there other members who would like to move to strike the last?